Hi, how's it going? Adrian Almanza with Pantheon Resources. I'm here on the north slope at our well pad. Right behind me is a neighbor's 105 drilling rig. Let's go look around and see what we can find. Here we are atop the neighbor's 105 rig. Once you get a few stories up, you can see what a wonderful vantage we have here. All right, welcome to the pipe shed. So here in the pipe shed, we have our drill pipe. And obviously to make our objective we need a lot of steel. When we want to bring these from the pipe shed up onto the drill floor we set it over here on the elevator and bring uh, pull the pipe up to the pipe floor. I'm now on the drill floor. You can see that we're actually rotating ahead at the moment making progress drilling down to our target intervals. Alright, as we drill, we pump mud down the hole and that's to pump back up. This is a flow line that brings it back. The flow line comes through the possum belly. Here we have a gap at the edge of the gap. So that we can see our shows. When the flow line brings up the mud, it also brings up the cuttings as we drill down. The cuttings are then spread across the shaker. The shaker helps separate the solids from the liquid and all this gets recycled back into our mud pits and the cuttings go over the side for disposal. After the cuttings go down the shaker, the cuttings are then deposited here into this bin. From this bin we have a suction hose that will pull these into these dragon boxes. The dragon boxes are then hauled off to Crudo Bay at a disposal facility. Cuttings come over the shakers. We collect those cuttings and we capture the cuttings here. And what we're doing is then preserving them to send back for scientific uh, investigation. The plan is to capture enough of these little cuttings into these little jars as quickly as possible, saving any kind of fluids that might be within the rock itself. We then put it into this steel container here, add a plunger on top and seal it with this bolt. We also collect wet cuttings. Wet cuttings give us an opportunity to compare wet cuttings versus dry cuttings. Another way to uh, get cuttings and preserve them in a pristine state is just to air dry them, uh, not apply any kind of heat or force that would actually then extract more of the hydrocarbon. Our logger here is continuing to rinse the samples in the drilling mud, removing any additional fines or mud that might be contaminating uh, the surfaces that are part of our drilling fluids, and just to get the rock material that will be taken down to the logging trailer for further analysis. We take those cuttings and to then further process them for XRF we need to have them completely dry and here they're added to a hot plate to help accelerate that process and this is primarily for mineral identification. Uh, to continue this process we will then take those cuttings and then proceed to grind them. which you can see here is a device that we use so it turns it into a fine powder. Uh, inside that device, the shaker device, is a metal ball and so that metal ball will shake around in that little metal container and turn it into powder. That powder is then uh, moved to a sample container to then put into the XRF machine which will use x-rays for mineral identification to help us with our analytical sample ID. Thanks for joining me today out here on the North Slope. We're getting good data and good samples and as we drill ahead uh, in our intermediate section to our target interval. We're looking forward to the results that are going to come. So tune in uh, next time and we'll give you the latest update. Join us. <laughs>